All right, welcome back. By now, many of you either seen or heard our interview on Friday with Congressman uh, Deborah Wasserman Schultz. Uh, both of us, of course, myself and the Congresswoman, lament that currently it appears that any bill that gets to the president's desk on health care will not have real choice or real reform for the American people. But what came out in the interview is my incredible frustration over what Democrat Howard Dean calls a bigger bailout for insurance companies than the one given to AIG. A bill that forces 44 million people to buy health insurance under penalty of law, but does nothing to break up the insurance monopoly that would create choice and consumers and introduce real reform in America. The way I conducted the interview has been called many things, uh, but I'll sum it up uh, with a tweet from a woman known only as Diane G12. And I quote, Dylan was very rude. Uh, and yes, Diane G12, I was. Uh, and I want to apologize to the Congresswoman uh, and to our viewers for that. Our mission and my mission on this show is to shine the light on what is really happening, whether it's health care, the banks, or a, a war in the Middle East. And the way I went about that on Friday was a disservice to our viewers because it got in the way of doing just that. I have some work to do, and as we go into the new year and our new 4 p.m. time slot, we will continue to hold our nation's leaders accountable. And I will do everything I can do to do that in an informative, factual, understandable, and enlightening way. That is it for us for today. Contessa Brewer is up next. Uh, Contessa, what do you have cooking? Ah, sounds like a New Year's resolution to me, Dylan. And that it is.